first thing that comes to mind, and maybe it'll tie together, um, during the 60s, people who were black, African Americans, saw their color as a source of shame. Um, they were, uh, by dominant st standards, white America, um, they, they saw their, their color as their hair and their features as being inferior. And it wasn't until the late 60s, for the most part, where people were proud of their blackness, um, felt good about who they were. Um, I think people with disabilities, it's hard for non-disabled people, but people with disabilities like who they are. It's not like, um, uh, I just heard, you know, because you're disabled, um, your life is tragic or meaningless, that people like who they are, and given the choice, many people, a um, colleague of mine I work with, saying it was a quad, says, you know, I'm satisfied with who I am. I'm not interested in stem cell research. I, I'm fine. <laughs> I don't need, need to be changed and reconstructed. Um, that there is value, and we as Americans miss the value of people with disabilities when we close our eyes or walk away. And um, we all talk about um, inclusion and the diversity and the greatness of America, and I think too long Americans have discounted the contributions and, uh, of people with disabilities. And um, it, is, it has become, it's a very, it has been, and it's, 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 it's sad that it's been a silent revolution because I think people miss out on the, uh, um, the abilities of people with disabilities. And we're not talking about those few stories of people who overcome all the obstacles. It's the day-to-day, -day, the day-to-day -day heroes of people who, um, who just feel good about who they are and um, go about whether they're on you know, Medicaid and SSI and who live independently, there's value uh, in, uh, in all, I think, in all peoples, and I think the disabled. And it's so interesting that people who've been involved with civil rights, sometimes some, you would think that they get it, <laughs> that everyone, <laughs> everyone. Uh, I've not seen on Newsweek anything about, you know, you, anytime there's a trend, Newsweek, you know, in time, fight to get that trend. I've not seen anything related to the disability movement, not so much a disease or a procedure, but the disabled as a group, and how, how uh, the media has missed uh, the boat on this. So I think there are valuable contributions, and uh, we as Americans who are non-disabled, who will more than likely experience a disability somewhere in our life or have a family member, and I, I just want to say, too, you know, I, I worked uh, in this field since uh, 1973, and I used to work with parents. Again, I think parents are the biggest barrier to independent living, and they were hysterical, always crying, and they change their mind every day about things. And I say, oh, these people are just crazy. In 1992, I had a daughter diagnosed with a terminal disease, and I became the craziest of the parents. And I... And I think we're, none of us are immune to, to being disabled or having a child with a disability. And um, sooner or later, it may affect us. And even if it doesn't, we would be better citizens by uh, honoring um, inclusion.